okay, yes, I am your grandfather, and yes, I did have sex with my daughter to have you, and yes, there are elves trying to fuck you, so that way you bring on the master race, and I, doesn't this make sense to you? It's elves on the cut up. With Christmas coming up, Kristen is having a tough time. Not only is she a teenager dealing with her crazy family, but she's being stalked by an elf that she accidentally released, and it wants to fuck her and bring on the master race from the from the Nazis. Also, she finds out that she's the daughter of her grandfather, so that she would be pure enough to. Yeah, I know it's. It's a lost cause. Elves. A classic Christmas tale for the whole family. Pull up the couch, dim the lights, get some popcorn, and... I can't believe this is a movie. This is a movie. I feel like I feel this way a lot with these B-movies, but Elves definitely is up there on the list. Mixing Christmas, Elves, Nazis, Incest, Grizzly Adams, Conspiracy, and the feel of the 1980s into one movie is both a blessing and a curse. Imagine, you're a teenage girl. Your family gives you nothing but shit. You're considered weird at school because you're into magic and you've probably watched the craft way too many times. You find out that you're being pursued by a killer elf puppet that would embarrass Stan Winston. Grizzly Adams is your best friend. You find out that you're the daughter of your grandfather and his daughter, and your brother is trying to sneak peeks at you naked and saying you have big tits. On top of all that, this elf wants to fuck you and create the quote unquote master race. Oh, and it's Christmas time. Now, are you sure this isn't all in her head? No, this is actually happening to her. Who thought that this was a good idea? And who thought this was a serious film? The thing that makes elves both work and not work is how serious it takes itself. It treats itself like an important mystery on an episode of Days of Our Lives, when in reality it's an over-the-top romp that isn't over-the-top enough to make it a must-see. Because of this, I'm sure a lot of people will find it boring, though I find it really funny and pretty entertaining. Sure, the story is ridiculous and it's all entertaining, but my favorite thing about elves is the dialogue and how it's delivered. The movie is so quotable that I have several quotes for you to listen to, but the movie must be seen for its clunky conversations. And since we all know what to expect from a B-movie, I'm just going to name off a few things to watch out for. You have to watch Grizzly Adams in a shootout in a department store about halfway through. At the end, you should probably watch Kristen's final minutes with the elf. Really strange. And also, watch Grandfather slap Kristen around for no good reason. It's all great fun. If any of this sounds appealing, check out Elves for an amazingly good bad time. Hey, it is Christmas after all. Hey, maybe if I'm really good, Santa will bring me a different movie this year. Waiting. It's not happening. Bastards. Bastards. I'll show them. Shit. Looks like you won't be singing jingle bells this year. Hey, look, I found some berries in the wood. Oh, I smushed them. You should figure out everything. We're girls, remember? We're the master race. Killer. We could control everything and everyone. What'd you say? I'm sorry. You know, you really are sorry, Hugh. You take that cinnamon outside, mister. It's Christmas time. It will Merry Christmas to you. What are you doing?
coming. I'm your fucking sister! Yeah, and you've got fucking big tits, and I'm gonna tell everybody I saw them. Ho, ho, ho. And what do you want for Christmas, little girl? For it not to be Christmas. Why? Oh, I eat snow. Can you make it snow? Oral. What? Santa said oral. Why don't you tell me what you know about the elves? Elves, my God, this is a matter of life and death. Rosa, telephone la policia. Okay. Llame al policio, hey, Rosa. Listen. No way, ve. Uno, uno. By the time okay? you get through to her, I'll be out of here, all right? Tell me what you know. All right. You have one minute. I want to know the connection between the elves and the Nazis. There are two schools of thought. What are they? One, the Nazis experimented with elves as assassination teams. Small, easily hidden, silent, vicious. They have magical powers. They can't be hurt or killed. They eat anything. They're a perfect soldier. The problem is, there's no such thing. What else is there? Tell me some more. Theory two. The elves were a genetic engineering experiment. Now, I like this one better. It mixes science and the occult. The Nazis did have some clever scientists. This was before today's technology, of course. Each elf was to house the haploid gene structure in its sperm cells to produce the master race. Once again, magical powers can't be hurt or killed. Driven to select the genetically perfect human mate, the proverbial virgin, of course. Holy midnight consummation on Christmas Eve. Wait a minute. Tonight, you mean... The elf mates with a virgin on Christmas Eve to produce the master race. And it will eventually rule the world. But, once again, the problem is, there is no such thing. No elves. Honey, would you tell these kids not to be throwing things at each other? Now, your time is up. Daddy, what's elves? Elves. <laughs>